What's up everyone, welcome to DeFi Digs. Today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial on liquidity providing and yield farming. Um, if you already know and are familiar with those concepts, this video probably is not for you, but if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're curious to learn more, then you've come to the right place. Let's dig into it. So Trader Joe is the main DEX on Avalanche. Um, it has $2.27 billion total value locked in the protocol so far. Um, it's a really nice, really easy to use DEX. Um, they have a bunch of cool features. We're mostly going to just focus on liquidity providing, which is the pool section, and then farming those LP tokens, um, which is the farm section. I'll briefly cover trade, lend, and stake, and zap at the end. So if you wanna stick around, um, I'll cover that later. So <clears throat> liquidity providing, is when somebody pairs two assets together into a liquidity pool. Any transactions that occur from this trade section within that pair generates fees and those fees go out to the liquidity providers. So if we look at the pool and we sort by liquidity, we can see that the MIM time pool has the highest amount of liquidity at $479 million. The APR just on those fees for somebody who is a liquidity provider is about 12.5%. This varies based on activity and transactions within the pool, how many people are liquidity providing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if you have two assets and you want to begin earning yield on them, liquidity providing is sort of the main stop. Now, there is a very important concept that you need to have a good understanding of before adding liquidity into a pool, and that is impermanent loss. Um, I'm going to put a couple videos in the description explaining that from people who are better at explaining stuff like that than I am. So check that out before you actually provide liquidity because you do need to have a good understanding of how that works. Once you do that, um, you would come to Trader Joe and you would look at um, a pool that you might be interested in. So let's look at um, this Joe AVAX pool. So AVAX is obviously the native staking asset on Avalanche and then Joe is the token for Trader Joe itself. In that pool, liquidity providers are earning a 7.8% APR. That is just fees. Once you provide liquidity into that pool, you will receive LP tokens that represent your portion of the liquidity that you can use to then redeem the liquidity that you put in whenever you want. You can also stake those LP tokens in the farm section. If you come to the farm section and you sort by the pool that you're looking for, which is this Joe AVAX pool, the APR on that is 53%. So you're going to earn the yield from the fees, and then you're also going to earn, if you stake your LP tokens, you're also going to earn an additional 53% in Joe tokens. Um, and those tokens will get paid out right here. So let's walk through what that looks like. Choose the farm you want, or choose the pool you want. In this case, we're gonna do Joe AVAX. I don't have any Joe, so I'm not going to actually send the transactions through, but we'll walk through it. You would add an equal amount of each asset into the pool. So if I wanted to add 100 Joe, that would be 1.98 AVAX. It needs to be 50-50. You can't add one side um, and not the other. You can do that in the zap section, but um, we'll get to that later. So you do need to add 50-50 um, of both assets. So when you do that, you send that through, your liquidity will then show up here. It will show you your portion of the pool, and then you'll be earning fees on that as long as you, you leave it there. And as long as people transact between these two assets, uh, you'll earn a portion of those fees. Now, if you wanna take that one step further and actually farm, once you add liquidity, you're going to receive those LP tokens that I talked about previously. So in order to start earning on those, you come to the farm section, 
find the pair that you've provided liquidity for, which in this case is the Joe AVAX, and then you will have LP token balance that shows up right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to stake that and send it through. At that point, you'll be farming and you'll be um, earning fees on your liquidity that you've added. Your rewards for the farming are going to show up right here as your Joe rewards, and you can claim those whenever you want. Uh, you can sell those, you can stake them, you can add them back into liquidity, um, you can do whatever you want. When you're done and you want to exit this farm and you want to pull your liquidity out from the pool that we first entered, you need to first unstake your LP tokens. You will not be able to pull liquidity out until you unstake your LP tokens. So come to the unstake section, go through the same process, those LP tokens will now get released and then you can come to the pool and you can remove the liquidity that you originally put in. At that point, both assets will release and go into your wallet <clears throat> and um, you're done. That's it. So um, that is the gist of liquidity mining or yield farming. Um, but just bear in mind, some people get hung up on the LP token thing. When you first pool assets, you're not farming. You're only LPing. If you want to farm, you then need to take those tokens and stake them in the farm. Now, not every pair in the pool is going to be available in the farm. These farms are essentially incentivized liquidity pools to encourage people to add liquidity. So the rewards can change. So keep that in mind. It will not always be the amounts that you see um, up here. They can change, but um, that's kind of the gist. The other aspects of the platform are um, a, little, you know, a little bit more basic. We have just the standard swap sections where you can swap into any asset um, like you've seen on Uniswap or you know, any other decks. The lens section, which is fairly new, um, if you don't want to provide liquidity and you just want to earn on a single asset, so maybe you want to avoid exposing yourself to potential impermanent loss, you could come to the lens section and then just deposit one asset, such as ABAX, same process. And at that point, you're going to be earning a yield just on that one asset from people that are borrowing from you. You'll also be able to then borrow against the asset that you've deposited. So you're using that as collateral. You'll get paid out um, in Joe tokens as well, as well as make a portion of um, some fees there. So similar to liquidity providing, except only s one single asset as opposed to a pair. Um, and then uh, in the stake section, you can stake the Joe tokens, as I mentioned earlier on here, which will earn a portion of the platform fees as well. Right now it's about 36%. And then in the zap section, this basically automates a LP or liquidity pool position. Um, instead of having to add both assets, you can just select one asset and then choose which pool you want to kind of swap in and it will automatically swap everything for you. Um, you can deal with some, some slippage if you're doing high amounts, just because there's a lot of different transactions going through at once. So, um, would probably only recommend it for small amounts, but that's a gist. The process is pretty similar no matter which decks you're on. Um, you know, you could be on Radium, on Solana or, you know, SushiSwap on Ethereum. Um, it's, it's pretty much the same. If you want to farm, you need to add liquidity first and then stake those LP tokens onto the platform. Hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up, comment for any questions, hit me on Twitter if you have any other content you want to see, and have a good day.